Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to be looking at another quick tip, another short punchy video, um, and specifically how we can show multiple measures in one visual. So in this case, we've got a bar chart and using disconnected tables and slicers to make everything work together, make it nice and dynamic and performant. So the data itself, it's mock for this, it's very simple. We've got truck IDs, a destination country, destination city, a load quantity, pictures in tons, and the inventory value. So we might want to see the, the load, the quantity, the inventory value, the trips, where we can count the truck trips. And we're going to look at how we can include all of these within a measure, um, use a disconnected table, make it all function together. We've also got those cards to show what we're actually looking at, which is quite helpful as well. So there's a few components we actually need here. As I said, let's say we want to sum up the load quantity, sum up the inventory value, and you know count the truck to have the actual trips because we're gonna look at it in the graph by the city destination. So that's the sort of granularity we're gonna look into. So we need to think about that. And I shall see, we can see those values represented by city. So how do we go ahead? What's the next steps in actually making this function dynamically? Well, the first thing we actually need to do is we need to enter a new table. And that just needs to be the options that we're going to want to track within our multiple measures in that one visualization. So we have inventory value, load quantity, and trips. And we can actually just go into the enter data section, enter that, and that's actually all we need. And the last piece of the puzzle that we need to connect everything together, and you can pause it here if you want, is a measure. And we're gonna use one variable and return a statement. So we say the variable selection is just equal to the selected value. So whatever we select, within that slicer information that we entered those three rows and we can return a switch statement. So again, much like the if statement, and we're basically saying the selection, that variable is equal to what we've selected. And if it's a load quantity, we can just sum that load quantity in our original data. Same with the inventory value. If we select that, we can sum the trips table and the inventory value within there. And again, selection three would be when we select trips, it's going to count the trips and that truck ID so that we see actual trips. And it defaults, if we haven't selected any of those, it's just going to go back to our original inventory. So you'll notice that the, you know, I haven't made a connection in the data model between the, the slicer and the trips data and my measure. Well, we're actually using, you'll hear me say, disconnected tables and disconnected slicers. And what this disconnected table does, essentially it's a way for us to store our values that we want to display in the slicer. And the reason that it's called a disconnected slicer is that, yeah, it's not connected within the data model, and it's used for the slicer as well as the measure to control which actual individual measure we're showing, and that contributes to that dynamic change where we can actually show three metrics by city without having to use bookmarks and potentially hinder performance and mess around with save states in that respect. So essentially, once we have all this information, we just need to know where to put it. So we can have a slicer and I'm going to put that three slicer options that I entered in the blank table within my slicer. And within the you might think within the visual itself you would have to populate individual values well you don't actually have to do that you just i've chosen the destination city as the detail i want to go into in my axis and i'm actually just using that measure that we created and that's going to allow me to flip between each of the values and that's controlled by my disconnected slicer and again i have cards where i can just respectively show the slicer options or the measure we created um, to show the values and what we're actually looking at. So very helpful. So as you can see, again, we can run through that. Everything works well. It's really simple. You don't have to connect anything to data models. You just have to write a bit of DAX and remember um, to use that variable to show what we're actually selecting and return that. 
As usual, if you like this content and you find it helpful, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thank you.